Hey y'all, welcome to FFT Arena. This is Rex here. Uh, on top we have Gaignan, and on bottom we have Baron. Gaignan's team is uh, known as Cloud Surfing. He has Satsuki the Oracle, Lezard the Chemist, Goldfinger the Thief, and Queen the Summoner. Baron, on the other hand, has Distraction the Archer, Bruiser the Ninja, Tank the Paladin, and Attack the Thief. I personally am very, very new to this. Um, I do believe I made a video once before, but I took it down because... for various reasons of my own. However, I figured I'd give uh, commentating another shot, and with that being said, here we go. Uh, unfortunately, I am not very good at pre-team analysis, so I probably won't be doing that too much. However, the match should show all that you need to see. So with that being said, first round, we are going up to map 27, Golan Cole City. It's a fairly large map with a big uh, pub, I believe, or the Thieves Hideout, basically, in the center. Fairly well, uh, fairly large, so it should take both teams a few turns to reach the other. Start off with a quickening. Angry thief, uh, angry ninja, sorry, ran forward. Charged forward. To his death. Fairly high damage drama. X potion heals most of that away. And an 80% zombie misses. Nice. That was actually fairly low damage on a berserk uh, on that berserk ninja. And Gaignan's thief goes down. Wall should make him even harder to kill. We have another Rama. Still fairly high damage. Now the uh, thief, uh, th uh, the ninja went down regardless of the wall. And a raise two. Didn't see the odds. Phoenix Down picks the ninja back up, but he has. I can't see if he's berserk on it. He probably is, because I think he has salty rage. Raise two misses. Transfusion makes him somewhat healthy. Almost takes down the. Uh, almost takes down that summoner. Chemist. HP restore, though. Another race 2 coming up. Baron head breaks the summoner. Very nice. Charm stops the race 2. Chemist uh, gets rid of the said charm. And now Chemist is almost dead. That auto potion isn't going to midgetate any much of that damage. Roma takes down the uh, takes down the archer over there. Thief is finally back up. Steelheart misses this time. Blast gun doing some damage. 84% undead. Lands this time. Shiva takes down the thief and puts Baron's. Uh, does some decent damage to Baron's thief. Still accessory hits over there, so she is now whatever her accessory was. Chemist is right back up. Auto potion, but yet again, one more hit. Uh, one more, one more of those hits, and he'll go right down. And Rama takes him down. Now all that is left is that Paladin, and I really highly doubt she can do enough on her own. Gaignan is more than well on his way to sweeping this. After some... Uh, after some time. Headbrick hit, so she'll be even easier to kill. <clears throat> Ramu takes out, uh, takes out the 
uh, archer does decent damage to the uh, to the paladin there. Almost caught her a knight. One hundred percent undead. Thief goes down. The uh, paladin over there is now unholy. Arm aim lands. And so does race two. So, let's go to round two. Round two will be taking place at the entrance to Death City. Uh, in the first round, Gaignan managed to come back after an initial beatdown from Baron, and uh, with some very high accuracy zombie, uh, with some very high accuracy zombies, pulled uh, pulled ahead of uh, Baron here. Can he do it again? Still accessory hits, 80%. Immediate. Berserker Thief does a, does massive damage. More Rama. Decent damage. Unavailable too. That's what I love about it. Thief goes down. Sorry, Ninja goes down. What's wrong with me? Crit shot. Second uh, second attack misses though. Anger Ninja takes down the chemist. Second undead. High odds, but the first two for uh, the first two attempts on both the first round and this round missed, but that one hit. A double kill. However, the thief does have re raise so he will get back up in a moment. Quickening. Thieves back up. Expressions himself and is probably just gonna run. Oh, no, he charged forward. Never mind. Prove me wrong. As soon as declare the don't act on the summoner up there. Will she be able to cast it before she gets her turn? Yes, she does. Whack and adds of faith. Army misses. Explosions himself and runs to the corner. Romo kills the, the uh, Romo kills the archer over there. Race two picks back up the chemist. Still accessory hits. She hit uh, low damage attack. Uh, low damage. I can't remember what sword she had. Low damage night sword swing though. Charm hits on the summoner. Could be... Yes, this could be big. Undead. Undead thief. Or, what's wrong with me? Unholy paladin again. Once more. Uh, and, uh... Archer's back up. Transfuse and heal. Don't act on the... Oracle over there. She's gonna spend a few turns being useless. Don't act on the thief. So he is now useless. It is still a, it is a, once again, a four on three. Uh, that thief over there uh, doesn't really have much of a chance anymore being resurrected. And, like so, he is crystallized. Charm wore off. But a petrify. Auto potion, just heals away almost all of the damage. Armor break, she is now... She now has no clothing. Well, armor, but... Similar concept. Looks like a raise finish. Will it kill her? No, raise two. Yes, it does. Soft gets rid of the petrify. Arm aim misses. And Charm once again lands. Headbreak lands on the Chemist. It's a few chunks of his HP knocked off. Charmed Summoner is going to Rama her own units. Auto Potion, though. Heal. 
two attacks also adds faith. Charm missed this time, and when and now that she's faithed, those Ramas are gonna hurt. Arm aim hits. And she does indeed go straight for a Rama. Bandage once again lands. Nope, nope, never mind. Shiva. Archer goes down. High chance zombie. Hits. Armor break. One race two, and this is over. And with this, Skyagnon, you have taken this. Sorry, Baron. But GG to the both of you.